right, so today I'm gonna work on my gas pedal. Uh, but first, <laughs> that's how this goes, right? But first, I did get these springs here. Now these springs, uh, I had no clue really what they were. There wasn't much of a description, but I saw that they were for like a refrigerator door. And I figured if it could hold a refrigerator door open, it could uh, hold a clutch pedal up. So let's see. I don't know why I'm bringing a stool. I can't really sit over here. Let's see what we can come up with. Oh, all right. So here's the pedal. I want to be able to push it forward. And you can also see that the way it bends here, this corner digs into it. Uh, and I don't want it to cut that or anything, so I'll smooth that out. That ought to help its return as well. Um, and then for this, let's see if I can. So really, if I can drill a hole there and find a way to make this preloaded, I'm onto something here. Yeah, you know what? You sure can bend it. Removable. Oh yeah, that ought to work good, huh? Real good. We'll get the preload, I'll pilot a little thing. And then this one... I think I want it right in here. Ah! Oh no, oh no. That's no good. How am I gonna do this without that? in there pull this back Ugh. boom there we go look at that and that goes all the way up now I just need to smooth this edge here but that's looking good so far The is shifting, make sure it's still a thing. All right, so. Yep. And it appears that it's all of that. There we go. And now, let's try right about here. <sighs> and now this pretty much will need to follow this radius.
as it bends around as it travels. Ninety from that push down until I'm full throttle, and I'll probably lose a little bit with the lip on the pedal that I'm going to make, and then come straight off at a ninety again. Now, however far this meets is where it needs to be for throw. So to there. However, I can loosen it up some. So that's what I'm going to plan to do. So I need it to be that long. And you see if it's that long, I should still have a little extra. So let's do like that. So right there, that needs to be welded. <clears throat> now this one I want to offset to the side that the throttle is going to be on that way. I know that's going to be a thing. Let's just put it, build it into it, right? So there we go. Get it offset to that side. That cable is going to pull, so it's already kind of in line with it. All right, still a little on the hot side, but now I need to make the little lip that's going to hold the cable, it's going to be right around this area, on this side. I want to make sure that it's going to be enough for that cable. I can just weld away, pop this off, weld away. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so I got it welded on there now. Now it's time to cut it off. Let's put it right about there. Boom. All right, so now for these angles, I have this square tube here. Uh, I'm gonna use it. <clears throat> now, there should be a little flange or big flange. There's the big flange, those are the ones I want. Save those, maybe something else. Now, see what I mean by big flange? Because we still have some leftover from the radius. Boom. Now, I need to drill a hole and weld a thing. All right, so now we've got our hole. Let's deburr it. Let's 
that's where it needs to be all right now let's work out the spring on this side while we have easy access so obviously it's bent the wrong way right see now with that if I put that in there and then I push this down boop that's pretty good all right so the next thing I need to do is figure out about these threads here I could probably make it just sit in there, but I'd rather, but I'd, I'd rather have it to where uh, it threads in. Yep, so it's the M10 by one and a quarter. Hmm. So I know I don't have that tap. And this is a thread restorer, not a tap. Let's see if I can make one good use out of it, I guess. Let's figure out where I need to put it. <clears throat> Alright, right there is where it needs to be. Alright, so now it's cooled enough. It's still a little hot on the front there. Let's see what it do oh yeah we got plenty of throw too so <clears throat> oops Now I'm going to weld it very carefully. All right, now like I said, I'm gonna do that pedal a little different. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do it on there so I can push it down, but I want the gas pedal to be hinged. Let's take a look and see what we got here now. Oh, let's see what happens if I hammer some of this flat.
there's a pedal why I like this I don't know I just felt like I had to All right, now it needs a hinge on the bottom. Beep. All right, now I want the pedal to naturally, I think, lean back. Oh crap, I still got a lot of extra hair to cut. All right, now I want the pedal to naturally lean back. So we'll put this so it's a little forward. And right there is where I need to weld it. All right, well, I got the pedal welded. Let's just clean this weld the back off a little bit real quick here. All right, now I need to figure out the throw for this <clears throat> and where this is going to get welded so I can lop it off, set it, and forget it. All right, that's where I need to weld it. So I got it welded. Now I just need to find myself a little nut. Let's hope I still have an M6 left. Yes. I do. Beautiful. And it's got the little lock nut on it, the nylon lock, so I shouldn't have to worry about it coming loose. There we go. To the floor. Could use a little stronger springs. <laughs> it's so silly. I love it. Look at that. I probably could have put a little further forward, honestly, but this needed room, so that works. All right, so now I've got a gas pedal. I got my clutch pedal. I got my springs all synced in. Uh, this one could use heavier, but this will do. This will do. And uh, that's really it then. For today, anyway. Got to do the brakes still. And then a whole bunch of other things after that. But that's it for today. See you next time. Buff it up,